friends, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Um, so, <laughs> this is going to be a nighttime routine. That's why I'm in my pajamas. This is one of Charles's old shirts. This is exclusively what I wear to bed because they're the comfiest thing on the planet. And we're just gonna show you guys what I do at night to kind of get my skin ready for slumber. Um, I have a very specific nighttime routine that I've actually been doing the same thing for a while now um, and I feel like it's actively been working really well. I do have, just so we talk about skin really quick, we're gonna jump right into it today. I do have some problem areas on my skin as far as like acne goes so I do get a little bit of like cystic acne in my chin specifically I get a lot of cystic acne and sometimes I'll get random not really cystic more just like pimply acne um, on my forehead but the rest of my face I've always been pretty lucky with not having too too bad acne which is really nice. Something I've learned over time is a lot of skincare is just luck um, so that's kind of how it goes but I do think there are products that I use that actively help because there have been times in the past where I've struggled like heavily with acne, I've struggled heavily with redness, I still have a little bit of redness but it's not like crazy crazy just a little bit and my cheeks are just naturally pretty red so that's kind of what we're dealing with okay so normally what I do is I shower before I go to bed I do my face wash in the showers that's when I wash my face and then what I do is I'll get in the shower I'll do all my other stuff but I also use the Cerave Cervea Cerave hydrating facial cleanser for normal to dry skin. I have pretty normal skin So most products end up working okay for me kind of how it goes for me, but this is really really good It's also huge. Uh, this is like the value size and it was very inexpensive This stuff is really nice because it has hyaluronic acid Which I've heard is really good for your skin and it's also fragrance free Which I've been watching a few more skincare like channels on YouTube and they seem to say that fragrance as a whole It's better to not have that so I've been really really liking this. I think it does a good job of kind of clearing out my face. I use my little Foreo Luna Mini um, that I got in a FabFitFun box and I use that to kind of do this. I used to use my Zoe but the battery died and I don't know how to change it. I loved the Zoe though. That thing was fantastic but it, I didn't I couldn't figure out how to change the battery, so I just started using the Ferreo Luna that I had too. So now I have both. But I really, really like this, and I find using one of those little thingies really helps just like exfoliate your skin really well. I used to think they were kind of BS, but once I started using one, I can't go back to my hands now. Like when the, whenever it happens to this one, like I'm gonna have to buy something else because I can't go back to using my hands. It doesn't feel the same. Like it feels so good to have one of those little vibrating thingies. It just really gets all of the like, stuff out of your pores you feel so refreshed like I love that so normally I do that in the shower on nights I don't shower I still wash my face using this and the Ferrea Luna now normally on nights when I shower I get out of the shower and I come into here this is my oasis this is where I'm calm this is where I'm zen this is my office I don't normally sit here I usually sit at my desk and do my nighttime stuff all my skincare is in that little rotating spinny thing over there and normally what I'll do is because my hair is wet I will put in some of the IGK Thirsty Girl Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and I got this through Sephora. I got it for like 500 points. It was on sale for points, so I bought it. And I'm definitely rebuying this. IGK stuff is not super expensive, and this is one of the best leave-in conditioners I've ever used. I love that it's like, I'm almost out, but I love that it's like an aerosol can versus like one of the pump ones because I find those to be just annoying. This I can just like let loose in my hair um, and then I kind of zhuzh my wet hair a little bit and then I start doing skincare. But the other product I use in my hair after I do my skin, this is all out of order, but after I do my skincare, I usually put in this Hair La Vie Serum. This is the Polish Protect and Tame. I did receive this through Octoly, just so you guys know, um, but I've really been enjoying this. It's a really, I used to use Moroccan oil and I found that that made my hair kind of greasy see after a little while this does a really good job of giving me that shine and keeping my hair anti like frizz free because it can get a little frizzy especially in the heat this does a really good job of making it not so frizzy uh, while also making it not super greasy like other hair oils that I use have done I've been enjoying this one but I'm not doing that tonight. So normally I do all of that with my hair and then I French braid it so that way when I take it out in the morning it's wavy. That's like for a normal day. Tomorrow I have to like do things that I have to look nice for. So I'm gonna just like leave my hair like this, shower in the morning, and then style it in the morning. That's usually what I do if I have to look nice. If it's just a random day where I don't have to really do anything, usually I'll put it in the braids. What I do with my hair every night, even though I can't demonstrate it for you guys. I hope you get the gist. The other thing that I do pretty much immediately at night, always when I get ready to do my nighttime thing, is I use lotion. I 
I am a big believer in moisturization. Um, I love moisturizing. I love moisturizing my hands. I love moisturizing my, like, my elbows, my feet, my legs, like, my stomach, my chest. Like, I moisturize every single inch of my body. I love my body to just be the softest thing that you've ever touched. I probably over-moisturize, to be perfectly honest, but I love recently Sugar Rush, which is actually a brand from Tarte. Like, it's like Tarte's new brand. It's like a sub-brand of Tarte. I have no idea what this is. But I saw it in Ulta, and I smelled it, and I was like, I love this. This is called Cake Butter, and it's a body butter. And it really does smell... Oh my god, it smells like cake. I love it so much. Um, it was it was a little pricey for a body butter, but again, because I love lotion so much, I sometimes will splurge. The other lotion I love is the Aveeno Nourishing Moisturizer. I find that one to be really good, but I was out of it, so I picked this one up to try this out, and I have been really loving it. Uh, the difference between a body butter and, like, a normal moisturizer... Oh my god, I love it. There's nothing better than moisturizing your hands. It's, like, amazing. Um, the thing that's kind of different between this one and a normal lotion, the body butter is just thicker. So if you don't like a thick lotion, like if you don't like to feel lotiony, I would recommend something a little bit thinner. But personally, I love feeling moisturized and I love the body butter. This has been really good. This little cake butter, I really like this. So usually I put that all over and then I start my skincare. So now that we're like 10 minutes into the video, let's talk skincare. So the first thing that I typically do, I brought even some stuff to show you guys that I might not be using currently or that I don't use every night. My skincare routine only requires three cotton balls and I feel like that's relative relatively good. Um, I feel like for most people I see them use like a lot of different I try to not I try to be conscious of the environment and I try not to use like a billion and two different um, like non-reusable stuff. These are organic cotton balls though. I don't know if that makes a difference. Kind of hoped it did when I bought them. They're also way softer. So they're organic cotton balls from Wegmans. It's a grocery store near me. The very first thing I do is I use my Clinique two-step clarifying lotion. So, beauty guru. This stuff's amazing. I attribute this to me not having super severe acne. What I do is I take one little of these and I just pump it probably like three to four times. And this lasts forever. I've already been using this for probably like a month and a half and this is as much as I've used. Lasts a very long time and I just kind of go over my whole skin. Like, oh my god, I forgot my headband. Always wear a dirty headband. Um, probably not good for your skin, but it's the only one I have right now, so. So I go over everything with this, and I really kind of dig in, and especially in my chin area where I get the most breakouts. Put this kind of everywhere. I also try to focus it on my forehead where I also get breakouts. I do with that. This stuff is amazing. I love Clinique stuff. It used to be a whole big three-stepper, like I'd do the face wash, this, and the lotion, but now I really only use the two-step just because I found stuff that's better. Don't tell my mom. She, like, loves Clinique. But I found stuff that I personally like a little bit more. Um, the next thing I use is the number seven Radiant Results Revitalizing Toning Water. I'm almost out of this. You guys can see. I don't know if you can actually see, but I've used... It's probably down to, like, here. I use this a lot. I think I more use this. I don't know how much this does. I don't really know like what this does and how much it actually is effective, but I like the way it feels. It's a very cooling feeling. Like it feels very cold. And it also, I feel, kind of helps get off. This is the thing I use kind of to get off any like excess makeup that maybe didn't get off in like the shower or the facial washing or any of that. Because I also use makeup remover wipes to take off my makeup. Um, but I'll always have a tiny bit of makeup on this one and it'll take off stuff that I didn't even really know was still on my face. So this is kind of a final like wash to get makeup out. If this stuff doesn't get it out, like pretty much all else is lost. So then after I use that, which this is a very inexpensive, number seven skincare is pretty inexpensive and I like most of it from what I've tried. Um, this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. I know there's some like drama with this and some people don't like it and say it's bad for your skin. It works for me so <laughs> I don't know what else to say like it works really well for me I feel like my skin has really cleared up like maybe don't ruin it for me um because I really like it I love the way it smells I like that it has that slight kind of rose water scent to it and I just kind of douse my cotton rub pad in that and then I just put that all over my face and this is to kind of clear everything up clarify that's how I think of it anyway um <laughs> I actually have a lot of breakouts today. Of course the day I film like my skincare video my skin's breaking out but it's also a weird time of the month if you know what I mean so usually that affects a lot of things too. So now that is done. Love this stuff. It's very inexpensive. I, I don't want to recommend it though because I feel like it's not good for you. I like it though. Uh, so this next um 
portion might be a little controversial. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it. This is how I do it though, and I love how it feels. This is my favorite part of my skincare routine. So I use the Clavelle uh, La Creme, La Creme. Um, this is expensive. I was sent to this via Octoly, and I am so excited that I got sent this because I would never pay for this. It's too expensive, to be perfectly honest. It's a good cream. It makes your skin very soft, like so incredibly soft, but I also just can't justify paying over $100 for a cream. Like, that's not something I personally can do, um, but if you want to know if it's good or not, I personally think it's fantastic. It says you're supposed to apply it morning and evening, but I only do it in the evening because I don't want to waste it, um, because I realize this is the most expensive bougie skincare thing I'll ever own in my life so I'm trying to cherish it but I usually use about two pumps of this La Creme and I kind of rub it into my hands a little bit and I just put it on like this and I just kind of gently my biggest thing with skincare is I always feel like I'm a little too aggressive like I always like rub in my skin really aggressively and that's not good I should stop doing that because I think it makes my skin like really red and I don't know if that's bad for me but it seems like it is this is not a helpful video this is just what I do that sometimes works so I try to just like really rub that in and then I let it kind of just like absorb everything and then this is where I think people are gonna be like what because uh, I apply two more things after that so then I apply this Saturday skin bright potion I freaking love this stuff I this I freaking love Saturday skin they're so good this stuff is so good I usually apply like two and a half pumps of this and I rub it in again and I put it on top putting this together with the la creme cream thing from Claudelle is like the most amazing soft you feel so soft so luxurious so amazing they mix together like so good and your skin just feels amazing mixing these two things together like mixing them together in your face is the best thing ever um don't know if it's good for my face but my face doesn't break out as much anymore so <laughs> I think we're doing okay. This stuff is really good. I like the brightening serum because I've noticed that my skin does look brighter, I guess. Like it does. I feel like it does look a lot brighter after using this. Uh, there's two things from Saturday Skin that I would definitely rebuy from this skincare routine. One that I have to rebuy because I'm actually completely out. The final step that I do is the Claudelle uh, Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. I mentioned this in a different video and I talked about how much I like it and I do. I love it. It's actually like running out and I'm getting low-key nervous because I don't want to have to rebuy it but like I might have to. <laughs> this is like probably $60 for a jar which isn't the worst but it's not good but it's still expensive um so i really like this stuff and a lot of you guys said the glycolic is what makes it really good i guess it like regenerates your cells on your skin read skincare twitter once and i was like oh my god i should make a video i usually take a pretty i try to take a pretty decent size like the size of my finger and i just kind of dab it like I would dab foundation, whip off the rest. Rubbing in my moisturizer is the most like relaxing part of my makeup routine. <laughs> it's just so good. Sorry if my face is getting red. It just gets red whenever you touch it. I got a few comments last time I did skincare on my channel and I don't. <laughs> I know, it gets red, okay, I get it. It should be noted though that this cream is definitely a bit of a thicker moisturizer, um, which I do think I need particularly in like the winter time. Now that it's getting more into summer, I might switch over to something a little bit lighter um, and not as deeply moisturizing just because I don't need it. I don't really need something. I really like the um, Saturday Skin Featherweight Moisturizer. I loved that last summer. So I think I might rebuy that to kind of replace this just because I felt like it was really... It was light and it didn't like soup. This is like a deep moisturizing. If you have like really dry skin, I think this would be great. And I do in the winter, but in the summer it switches to more like oily to regular instead of like dry to regular. So this is one I would probably switch for more like winter stuff. So normally I use my Saturday Skin um, eye cream. This is called the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. This stuff has done wonders for me. It literally, I attribute this to getting rid of the majority of my under eye crinkles. My under eyes used to be my least favorite part of my face and because I've been using this it hasn't been anymore. However, I ran out of it, so I have to rebuy it. And I don't like rebuying things, it's so boring. So I was like, I'm trying to hold off on rebuying this, and I did get a sample when I bought something from Lancome. Lancome? Um, I did get a sample of their Absolute Eye Cream. So I was like, oh, I'll try this out. Is this not the most amazing thing I've ever tried? I can't attest to if it gets rid of my wrinkles yet because I've only been using it for a few days, but it feels so luxurious and like soft and amazing. It feels so, so good. Um, and I was like, I wanna buy this. Like this is so, it feels so soft. You only need a tiny, tiny little bit and it go, oh my God. 
it feels like satin on your eyes like it feels so good and I like really rub it into my like where my crow's feet would be if I had them um, and I put them on my eyelids because I find that that help crinkly eyes and I also put them really up close under my eyelids I'm just gonna surround my eyes with it that makes sense so I do that and so I looked it up and I was like, oh my god, I want to buy this for like a full size to like try it out, like really try it out. It's a hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> so I was like, we're going to stick with Saturday skin. We're going to rebuy this. It's like 40 bucks. So we're just going to rebuy that. The next thing I do is I do take a little bit of this Laneige Sleep Care Lip Mask. This is in the vanilla. Yeah, this is the vanilla flavor. Um, I really like this stuff. I feel like it makes my lips genuinely feel softer. My lips are gonna be so shiny. I really like slosh this on. My lips are so small that it kind of like goes over. I used to be a really big lip balm person. Um, and then I actually like realized that I think the conspiracy theories about lip balm making you need more lip balm is true because my lips have never been more chapped than when I was using lip balm, like consistently. So I was like, okay, we're not gonna do that anymore. And then I heard a, one of the a YouTuber, I don't remember who it was, but I heard a girl talking about this saying it was like really good and it was only like 20 bucks. So I grabbed it. Wow, I love it. It makes my lips really, really soft. My boyfriend doesn't like it. He just thinks it looks gross, so he doesn't like it. But I personally really like it and I love the vanilla smell. It's really calming and nice. Um, and then the final thing I do is I use the Origins Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment and this is the Salicylic Acid. So I basically looked up, because I have cystic acne, I talked about this at the beginning of the video, and I looked up the best ways to kind of get rid of cystic acne and everybody said that salicylic acid is the best way to get rid of cystic acne. Because um, I was using my Mara Badescu Drying Lotion I think I brought that. I was using this and it was working well, but I noticed that sometimes when I had acne down on my chin, it would really, really dry out the acne and make it worse instead of making it better. So I realized I needed to switch gears. So when I have just normal pimples on the rest of my face, I still use my drying lotion and this is still fantastic. Um, but right now I'm really breaking out like down here on my chin. Especially there's like a big pimple right here. So I take this Origin Super Spot Remover. Works like, oh my good God. This stuff is so good. My only complaint is I didn't realize when I bought it how small the bottle would be. And while a little goes a long way, I usually just kind of pop it up here if I don't have too many bad acne. While it like a little goes a long way and whatnot, it still is kind of a lot of money for such a tiny, tiny little bottle. It's only 0.3 fluid ounces, which is like not a lot. Um, So just keep that in mind that for the price, this is kind of not a lot of product to get but for me I feel like it's worth it because I get such bad acne on my chin that makes me really self-conscious so I invest more in like acne spot treatments same thing with the Mario Badescu like I'll pay the money for this one just because it really does help with my acne and that's pretty much it for a nighttime routine and a couple other things I wanted to add in here. Sometimes I do use the Coco Clear Mud Mask and I also use just like sheet masks. I just buy random ones. There's no specific ones that I like love. Um, but I use the Coco Clear Mud Mask. This stuff is legit mud. Like it's gonna look like mud on your face. It's not like glam go like, oh cute, purple. It's like, no, this is mud. But I really find it works really well. It doesn't get too, too tightening to the point where you feel uncomfortable, but it gets tightening enough that I feel like it's clearing out my pores doing all of that. It smells so so good. Um, oh my god, it smells like vanilla and coconut. Like it's it's one of the best smelling masks I've ever used in my life, and I find it to be really, really good. I like this. My mom bought this for me. Well, she bought it for herself and then she gave it to me because she didn't like it, which is how I got half of this stuff. Um, but she <laughs> really, really liked it too, but she just didn't really like putting on the mask. I don't mind putting on a mask, and I think this one is a really good one to look into. Um, and then just I want to tell you quickly what I do in the morning because my morning routine is very simple. It's two steps. I use the PMD Soothe Multivitamin Nourishing Toner, and this has a spray bottle, so I don't have to use any cotton pads, which I love. And I just... It smells really fresh too, which I like. I spray this on a couple sprays on my face and then I'll rub that in a little bit. And then the other thing I do is I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. This is a very water-based, more like a water-based cream. I find using water-based creams in the morning help me a lot because it's not, again, it's not like super, super heavy hydration. All I need in the morning is just like a little pick me up because I'm probably going to put on makeup over it. So I just need a little bit of hydration back to my face after the night has like completely dried out everything I just did. Um, and that's pretty much what this provides. So that's like my morning thing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I do. No, I think that's everything. It's pretty much my routine. So now I can go to bed. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you, it probably wasn't, but this is what I do every night. 
to get ready. Yeah, now I can go to bed. I can put on my sleep mask and I can go to sleep. Um, I have this really awesome sleep mask that like plays music in the sleep and the has like little mini headphones within the sleep mask. It's like life changing. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. It's life changing. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and everything I'm wearing on my face and everything I used in today's video will be linked down below they are affiliate links just so you know i make a commission so don't use them if you don't want to don't feel pressured no pressure here um and yeah i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one bye